What's up guys, Lee Fry here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be discussing the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 and the Lumix 12 to 35 2.8. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. So we're gonna be talking about these two lenses that I rented to try out and see which one I like the best. Um, I definitely recommend if you are on a budget and you're wanting to upgrade on your lenses or any other gear that you might have, it might not be a horrible idea to rent it and just see if you like it and if it's something that you want to spend your money on. So I definitely recommend checking the stuff out before you make that big purchase because these are going to cost a pretty penny or two. It's looking anywhere um, from three to five hundred dollars used for either one of these lenses. So um, it's definitely not a hundred hundred fifty dollar lens for each one so it's it's, it's going to cost a little bit extra money so i definitely recommend uh the rental route if you are on a budget so real quick let's go over some of the quick the specs for these lenses first we're going to talk about the sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 prime lens can zoom can adjust the focal length whatsoever it is weather sealed so it will survive the elements if you need to take it out in the elements it is a 32 millimeter full frame equivalent Next lens is the Lumix 12 to 35 uh, 2.8 weather sealed as well has the optical image stabilization on this lens uh, it is also weather sealed so you can take it on the ele elements one of the biggest things that i like about this is when you zoom it has the fixed aperture so it will stay at 2.8 unlike my budget 12 to 16 3.5 as you zoom the aperture gets smaller and smaller and smaller and lets less light in so that kind of sucks but budget option so it is what it is so those are the two lenses, a uh, couple quick specs on them. So right now what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take them out, go get some shots, and then I'll come back and talk to you guys about which one I like the best and which one I will probably end up purchasing if I had the only choose one lens, which one that would be. So that's what we're gonna discuss after we get back in. All right, see you guys here after a bit. test on the Lumix uh, 1235 f 2.8 lens just out here in Old Town Buckeye getting some um, b-roll kind of showing you guys how these two lenses work so if you're to use this lens as a vlogging lens this is the field of view you kind of can kind of expect with this lens I think it's very good if you were to use it as a vlogging lens so right now I'm gonna switch over to 16 mil and kind of show you what that would look like if you want to use it as a vlogging lens stay tuned for one sec all right, guys, so now this is the vlogging test on the Sigma uh, 60 millimeter f1.4. Like, as you guys can see, you can use this as a vlogging lens. It is a little bit more cropped in, but in a pinch, this could work. Um, sorry if the motion blur is a little weird. I have it set to aperture priority mode because when I rented these, um, they didn't send me the right ND filter. So. It's basically a one-stop filter. I can't adjust to the different layers of the different shades for the filter, so I can't shoot in full manual mode, So, which kind of sucks. But it's whatever, we'll make it work. So as you can see, you know, this would definitely work. You can definitely use it as a vlogging lens. You get that shallow depth of field with the 1.4 f-stop, so it definitely looks good in my opinion. All right guys, well, before you get back inside and talk about these two lenses. All right guys, welcome back once again. So that was the footage you put together with these two lenses. Um, honestly, I love both of these lenses. 
if I could, I would get both of them at the same time, but would be a lot of money. So at the end of the day, if I had to choose one lens right now, I had a gun to my head so you have to pick one, it would be the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. My reasonings why, I love that it has the wide aperture, will do well in low light. Grant, I don't do a lot of low light shooting, but I do have that option with this if I want to use that. So that definitely is a seller for me. I'm not a big zoom person, so I don't really zoom a lot in my shots. I don't adjust the focal length a lot. Um, usually, even if I'm vlogging, when I've used uh, my 12 to 60, I'm most of the time, 99% of the time, I'm at the, you know, the 12 millimeter focal length. So I really don't adjust that much. And with this lens in a pinch, you could use as a vlogging lens. It's gonna be, I, I showed you in there, it's gonna be kind of cropped in a little bit just because 16 millimeter, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a little bit tighter shot, but in a pinch, you could use it as a vlogging lens if you want to. And even with the GH4, if you're shooting a 4K, it's gonna have even more of a crop, so you could always drop it down to 1080p, you know, not have a little bit more room to work with but still it's still going to be kind of tight so that's the only negative for it but you could use it in a pinch if you had to and you can use it as a you know like this talking head kind of video so that would be the reasonings why um, i just love how it feels in your hand the build quality uh, the focus ring is super smooth love it this would definitely be my number one choice but that's not to say anything negative about this lens I love this lens too. Um, gives you a nice wide shot with the 12 millimeter, um, which is a 24 equivalent for a full frame. So, you know, it gives you a pretty good wide shot. Decent for low light, has a 2.8 aperture, so decent. Um, if I was strictly just vlogging and that was all I was doing, this would probably be the lens that I would go with, to be honest with you. But I don't just do vlogging. I, I haven't really posted a vlogging video uh, in a while, so um, that's not mainly what I do. I do love vlogging, but this to me would be, that would be the um, main reason I would recommend this one. Um, there, obviously you have the zoom option, so there's a lot, a lot of different things that you can do with this, but since I currently have this lens, the 12 to 60, um, f3.5 this can still be my primary vlog lens and I don't really use this in low light I really only use this outside or in well-lit situations so I feel like 16 millimeter is just the one that I'd want to go with right now just because I have that other option with this uh, 12 to 60 now with that being said that doesn't mean somewhere down the road I'm not gonna get this because I do love this lens somewhere down the road I will get this lens but after I send these back I probably will get this lens here probably in the next few weeks or so give or take but yeah so that's my review on those lenses guys I hope you liked it I think we're gonna wrap this video up right now um, if there's anything you guys want to talk about anything you guys want me to see you know leave a comment please let me know if you're not already subscribed you know, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button again, leave me a comment. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.